So it looks like uh, Madam Web is not going to get uh, a sequel. It seems like they're going to forget about the new franchise. I think this is because it did really bad in the box office and uh, there was like little interest compared to what they were expecting. So this article is on The Hollywood Reporter. Okay, so let's go over it together. So it looks like they were planning to make this into a franchise like Spider-Man, Venom and so on. But because it did so bad in the box office... They just said, no, nah, we're done. Forget it. It's not going to work. Let's move on. The trailer buzz was worrisome. Advanced ticket sales anemic. Then last week, the critic reviews for Madam Web were posted, and they stung deepest of all. Sony's Spider-Man spinoff received the lowest average Rotten Tomato score, 13%, of any major superhero film in nearly a decade. On Wednesday night, you could actually watch advanced purchase sales declining in real time as buyers were refunding their tickets. Marvel's a major theatrical chain executive. It really says something when you'd rather have Shazam 2 numbers. Ouch. There's actually a lot of uh, hate towards uh, Shazam. Um, I saw the first one. It was okay. Uh, I skipped the second one. I just really wasn't you know, feeling the whole need to get into this comedy superhero thing. The first one was enough. The second one was like, uh, I'll pass. No, it's enough. But I did like Black Adam. I mean, Black Adam did get a lot of uh, a lot of heat, some kind of backlash, but I actually really enjoyed it. It was fun. All right, so let's continue here. It marked one of the lowest starts in Hollywood history for a film based on a Marvel character domestic box office for the first six days in North America was just 26.2 million after opening midweek, Valentine's Day. International tallied 25.7 million from 61 markets. Even the fan-friendly cinema score grade was poor, C+, extremely low for a superhero title. Like DC and the once unstoppable Marvel, Sony is now finding itself in under the gun to reevaluate how it makes comic book movies. Sony's previous Spider Man universe movie, 2022's Morbius, was a critical bust and much maligned by fanboys online. But at least it managed to earn 170 million worldwide. There's no such hope for Madam Web. Plus, the feature's collapse doesn't just impact this film but a new potential franchise led by star Dakota Johnson that Sony had hoped to spin out. Spoiler alert, her character is connected to Peter Parker, whose birth is documented in the movie. All right. The film introduced a trio of supporting characters played by Isabella Merced, Celeste O'Connor, and Sidney Sweeney. Now, one of the top stars her age, it set up a future in which the three could have become a team of spider women under the guiding eye of Johnson's Cassie Webb. Now, that's not going to happen. Well, it's too bad. We're not going to see another Madam Webb movie for another decade plus, quipped one industry veteran. It failed. Sony tried to make a movie that was a different type of superhero movie. Madam Webb joins a troubling trend for the superhero genre. Every live-action comic book movie last year underperformed, aside from Marvel Studios' Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, regardless of studio. Superhero fatigue has evolved from a term used by some corners of the fandom to something reluctantly accepted as industry fact, and it's coming at a time when Marvel, DC, and Sony are all attempting the difficult work of birthing new franchises. So, Madam Web, directed and co-written by S.J. Clarkson and starring Johnson as a New York paramedic who develops psychic powers, seemingly took a wise approach. When there are capes and cowls on every metropolis corner, doesn't it make sense to avoid the usual tropes and try for a more grounded feeling suspense thriller with low-key charm, and moreover, make a superhero movie for women and young girls? except it did not work. I don't know if women are enough to carry the box office here. 
one veteran studio source outside of Sony says. Indeed, males make up 65% to 70% of the superhero audience in North America. In the case of Madam Web, the percentage of female viewers was still only 46%. We are in transition when it comes to superhero movies, notes the insider. I don't know how big that transition is or what the other side looks like. It may be fewer movies, but bigger brands. Sony is willing to take some risk, but also wants home runs. That's good. And if Sony's upcoming Spider-Man Universe title, Craven, is a gigantic hit, the narrative could be completely different. So it's too early to know the outcome. The current mood on the Sony lot is gloomy, an insider says. The studio has certainly had notable wins under movie chief Tom Rothman's tenure, including the Oscar-nominated Spider-Verse series and the live-action Venom. A third Venom starring Tom Hardy is due out November 8th. Rothman is known for keeping a close watch over budgets, and it has been widely reported that Madame Webb cost $80 million dollars but the actual number is in the low 100 million range, according to several sources. Still, that's far less than the 200 to 300 million routinely spent by Marvel or DC. Interestingly, some Madam Web reviewers are earnestly making the case that the film could eventually find a second life as a camp classic. The Los Angeles Times praised it as the purest form of camp, and Slate raved, it's a travesty, a disaster, and I enjoyed the hell out of it. While such backhanded compliments are hardly solace to Sony, there's an argument to be made if you're going to fail, you might as well fail big, because there's actually something worse than a movie not succeeding, being forgettable. Okay, so pretty much to sum it up, yeah, the movie did pretty bad in the box office, uh, they're saying that the majority of the fan base in superhero movies is mostly males. They want to make something different with a female lead for this movie, but it just, you know, it didn't pick up. It just didn't do so well. There wasn't much interest. And uh, yeah, this funny part here, I mean, it says here, but I'll read it again. On Wednesday night, you could actually watch advanced purchase sales declining in real time as buyers were refunding their tickets. Wow. Wow, <laughs> I didn't know that was possible, but yeah, okay. I wasn't too keen on seeing Madame Web, even though it did have some connection to Spider-Man. Um, I just kind of felt not really feeling it. And, uh, I thought I would rather see Venom 3 when that comes out. Um, I guess there's the argument to be made that people will say, make better movies and you'll get more viewers, more sales, you know, more ticket sales. But I guess for some franchises, having a female lead just doesn't work. But for other franchises, it can work. You know, for example, Aliens with Ripley. I mean, that was great. So, you know, it just depends on the fan base and what they want to see. And in this case, Madame Web just really didn't work out the way they wanted to. And uh, yeah, they said, forget about a new franchise. I guess in a way, they were thinking of making this into like... Um, a long-standing franchise with like several storylines after this one but yeah that's pretty much gone it's done